Hi, so this is my setup using the um, the cheap SDR receiver um, connected to the um, what was a white button transceiver, USDX was a white button and uh, this is the uh, result I've got so uh, if I sh tune slightly there you go you can just see the marker moving and that's obviously leakage from the VFO from the synthesized oscillator coming back up the aerial cable um, to the receiver lots of things you can do with it um, but all those things are confined really to the SDR Uno software that I'm using um, which is no problem There you go. So it works okay. It's not brilliant. And there are some shortfalls. But for all intents and purposes it works fine. You've got some uh, uh, you've got some settings. So you can adjust the uh, let me just turn that down. You can adjust the uh, waterfall gain. There we go. Which is quite a useful feature because if you use the uh, connection point, if you take the connection point from the transmit receive switch transistor FET, um, you will see lots of mixer um, results. Um, and you can at least uh, tweak them out to a degree with the uh, gain control. Um, if you don't want to put an attenuator in. Uh, and you can do the same with the spectrum range. Here we go. Okay, it's not brilliant. Um, but it's a very cheap way of getting yourself uh, up and running with a pan adapter on the um, on the uh, USDX receivers, transceivers. Uh, you can see down here. Let me just uh, zoom. Oops. There we go. So you can see down here you've got the CW section of the band. And you've got the data section and you've got all the sideband signals here pretty much does what you want it to do i think um you can also if you want you can i can unmute the sound on my um computer he says come on okay so that audio now is coming from the computer and you can tune uh whoops excuse me let me just cancel that. And now I can tune using the uh, the wheel on my mouse. And that's the SDR tuning line. If you should want to. I don't think I've ever used that particularly. Um, I just normally leave that muted. Oh, seriously. I need a mouse mat. Right, so I normally just leave that muted. Use the transceiver. And just tune across the band. There we go. You can see the marker there as I'm turning the uh, tuning dial on the radio. There you are. So that's uh, what, I've, uh, what I'm using. Hopefully that's been a help to somebody. And that's using the most simplest uh, connection method possible, really. That's just uh, using a very low capac value capacitor. I think um, a good compromise, if you don't want to use a trimmer, um, is around about 18, 20 p beaker farads into a pair of back-to-back -back diodes. And then if you want to, you can also put a simple attenuator onto that. But I haven't bothered. I just use the gain control on the um, the SDR software. Um, there you go. Hopefully that's uh, been of use to somebody. Cheers.